<gasps> we got one. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey. I know there's a lot of men who have recently subscribed. Thank y'all for subscribing. What's up? Welcome to the family. I wanna think of a name for us because I think we're getting to that point where we should have a name, you know? I know we have our camera making survival guide. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, I would say click the link in the description box and it'll take you straight to it. It's called Candle Making Survival Guide. We're at like 273 members up there. So yeah, thank y'all so much for joining the Facebook. I'm gonna go live one day just to answer all these comments and great questions I've been getting on all my videos lately. I'm so blessed to even say that out loud, y'all. Thank y'all so much. You really keep me going. I was just looking at the vlog episode 27 all those comments you guys are so motivating i remember i was literally talking to a wall i was talking to nobody nobody was watching me i was getting like five views and now we get thousands of views and i thank y'all so much this is only the beginning we're going to scale up and you know hustle all of us because we're going to value the outcome more than the short-term gratification and that's something i want to focus on this week in terms of putting priorities ahead of how you feel because i was raised to feel like, okay, if you feel hungry, eat. Or if you feel tired, go to sleep. But that's not the world. That's not the reality of the situation. If you feel hungry and you've already eaten a meal that is good for you, drink a bottle of water, okay? <laughs> if you feel tired and you haven't gotten everything done, try to get more done before you go to sleep and then wake up earlier than you want to. Yeah, so this week should be jam-packed. You guys are very busy this week, more busy than any week I've ever had in terms of I need to pack an order today, has to get packed today. I need to do the video of unboxing those amazing amazing vessels that were sent to me by an amazing you know vessel supplier I'll show you guys that video if you haven't seen it already it should be up before this one what are you doing girl go to it click this link go ahead enjoy it <laughs> but yeah I have to film that video this week I also have a lot of things to do for my regular job that I love my nine to five as an account executive eight to five eight to five um as an account executive there I have a lot of work to do there um I have to go pick up a package that I accidentally sent to my old address. Hopefully it's still there. It's literally just some grass. Okay guys, it was there. Whew. So happy I got it. When I walked in, it was like a whole bunch of guys in there cleaning my apartment. Oh, they were like, woo. Hey guys, what's up? Oh my gosh. It's Tuesday. We are being really consistent this week with vlogging every single day instead of just Tuesday through Saturday. We're gonna vlog Monday through Saturday because I got y'all. It's a productive day. I extended the rental of these uh, plastic containers. These are all empty, but I still have like five of them to go through, which I wanted to do tonight or tomorrow as soon as possible. I'm looking forward to being productive and this morning, I was really productive like I created a rate card because a lot of uh, companies have been reaching out to me to do you know uh, sponsorships and one of them said send me your rate card I'm like your rate card I've never had a rate card so I googled what a rate card is and it's something of value in terms of set setting the tone for your uh, rates in terms of your Instagram TikTok, YouTube integration so I did that that was really fun this morning. I got up at five. I pushed myself to get up at five. I did not work out, but I worked out at nine. Um, <laughs> after I had this meet, or before I had this other meeting. Okay guys, I just ran up the stairs to come get y'all. Um, <laughs> I'm out of breath. So I was freaking out because I thought a package was left at the office and I was gonna go get it. But it wasn't, it was at my front door. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Oh guys, I've been running upstairs and up downstairs. I had a, um, I had a detox island green smoothie from Tropical Smoothie, but I always add an energizer in it because I'm crazy like that. Ooh, so I also had a sandwich and chips because I was really, really hungry. But I wanna show you what I got from Amazon. That's what we got here. Hear me out. When you see this, I know you're thinking, you think it's sketchy stuff, you think it's bad stuff that shouldn't be. It, your mind is going wrong, but it's not. <laughs> what you think it is? This is 
and it says <laughs> amplification. Da, 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 da. This is a zit zapper. So hear me out. Um, it was late night. I was really, really tired looking on Amazon. You don't be on Amazon late at night. You don't do that. But I was. That's where I was. And when I was there, I found. Oh no! Actually, I was watching this girl I follow. Her name is Riley Simpson. And she has bad acne and she was saying she wanted to try out the zapper it's like 30 bucks so it said you'll begin to notice a, a difference after a few weeks of use so i wanted to use it for acne scars i wanted to use it for acne scars and i wanted to use it for um bumps like i have one bump here that i just want to go on it and just see if it'll flatten it out or something immediately put my stuff away like i'm trying to be more tidy now that i live in like a large place i need to be more accountable for all of the mess because i don't want to make huge messes and struggle with cleaning so i made it my responsibility to empty out all of these bins crates i mean so i have four crates to empty out i'm just gonna put all the items in the boxes or something i'm just gonna empty them out all of the bins are empty and ready to go back to USPS or U-Haul. I'm finished all of that. Um, moving everything. I put on gym clothes because I may go to the gym. I also found this book, Meal Prep for Beginners. So I might uh, buy a whole bunch of stuff from here. Okay guys, guess where I am? I just dropped off the U-Haul crates. It was just weird. So hopefully they have a light gray pleated uh, comforter there, which I'll show you guys if they do. That's a cute. Okay guys, my phone is dying, so I'm gonna have to use my camera in public. Uh, so, yes, my phone is at 8%, so I'm gonna have to use my camera in public at the Walmart at that. So we'll see how this goes, guys. I'm gonna try to hold it as much as possible. You know your girl shy. Oh, I have so many paper cuts in that reef. I I bought a reef that I'll show y'all when I get home. I bought a reef. It's super cute. I asked the lady, so it is cute. Like, thank y'all for hyping me up because I need that. But yeah, I'm about to go in here and get groceries, containers, coffee, a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. Sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci, no. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you were alone All I ever asked was you to show me some love, kisses and hugs No, I never had an issue, go to the club with your boys, baby I never wanted you to stay too long Just wanted you to show me up So won't you say my name, say my name Wait, are these? Oh, I don't know. Work hard. 
containers. Oh, they have pans. I'm about to buy a bunch of shit, y'all. They have cookware sets. Like, I want like sheer curtains. I have to get those off like off Amazon. Apparently, I'm gonna need to buy everything on Amazon because this store is being weird to me. Oh, it was college. You know, when the kids go back to college, everything goes missing. My list says towels, containers, fuzzy socks, grass, cute folders, ooh, baking stuff. Okay guys, are you ready for this? I went a little crazy at Walmart. So yeah, I'm gonna show you everything I got. Okay guys, so I got a lot of things. I found this grapefruit hibiscus canned, I'm gonna show you these canned uh, waters that have like a little bit of carbon, of caffeine in them. I was like, what better way to get into caffeine just gentle caffeine than some of these. This is perfect. So, yeah, these will just go under my sink. Here. Perfect. Also, random, not in order, but TJ Maxx, I got this multi purpose organizer because my kitchen doesn't have a pantry, I'll be honest with you guys. So, I put my um, seasonings in the drawer, and so this will organize my seasonings in the drawer. Then I got some pans. I wanna start making egg bites in these, just something with like vegetables in it, as well as, you know, salt and pepper, and just something healthy for the morning. And then I got a cookie sheet in case I ever wanna bake cookies. Walmart, I got the socks. Guys, I made a list, and you saw that my number one thing was I wanted some cozy socks from Walmart because I know they always have them. They feel so cozy and great, and they're the perfect size for me, so I'm super excited about that. Um, also got a battery pack because my phone is always dying, guys. You have no idea. My phone is literally dying 24-7, so I wanted to have something in my purse that I can just grab. And then I got some lemons and limes. That way. Oh, yeah. Back to TJ Maxx. I got some microfiber shower curtain liners, so they're waterproof, which is perfect because my last one was plastic, and I feel like it was getting like this is gross. It was getting like moldy at the bottom, so I had to wash it off. It was gross, so this is waterproof. We don't have that issue. And then I got this cute thing for my desk. They're coming to put my desk together tomorrow. Um, it says work hard, be kind, and stay humble. I got some Kind Energy granola bars. I love these. I used to grab these all the time after the gym. Then I got some cilantro lime rice. We're like 80 cents. So I bought these. I got paprika, onion powder, and lemon pepper. I get, I wanna get bitchy, I wanna get them out of the bitchy, yeah. And my vision, yeah. And then I got some cake pans, guys. Okay, hear me out. I wanna start baking cakes. I wanna do fun stuff like that. And then if you know anything about fitness, you know protein is number one, no matter if you're trying to lose weight, gain weight. So I got some of these uh, 
tuna pack. Spicy Thai chili is my favorite. It doesn't have that strong fish smell. It just smells like chili peppers and things like that. So I always get these, my favorite. All 80 calories, but they are 14 grams of protein. I got real hard boiled eggs because I don't feel like, you know, actually, um, what's the word? Boiling them. I also got some chicken drumsticks. We're gonna bake these really good. Season them up really good for some lemon juice, lime juice, garlic, season powder, onion powder, garlic powder, goya. It's, it's a vibe. Some really good seasoned chicken for meal prep. A recipe of mine. Um, so this really helps me lose weight. So I just get some tomato sauce, veggie pasta and some Morningstar Italian sausage. And this is a whole like spaghetti vibe and it's like less than 300 calories. It's an amazing meal prep for you. So I'd highly suggest if you are trying to lose weight and you still want to get good taste, it tastes like regular spaghetti because this stuff is good. Like you have no idea that it's vegetarian. Only 80 calories. And then this too, it tastes like pasta. It's 190. And then this is 70 calories. So girl, you are good. Yeah, I highly suggest, you know, get this. You'll live your best life. And then I got some Activia. Vanilla is my favorite. It has great probiotics in it. It's only 90 calories. And I love this as a good pre-workout, you know, snack. I was, well, actually, I have one more thing I want to say. But um, before I show you that, I want to show you what I got. I was unpacking my magic bullet or my blender and I realized I bought this really cheap, disgusting blender and it was just, it was just not working well. I had to press the button and hold it when I blend, but I just bought the magic bullet. So I bought a mini because I like single serve stuff because it's a single life over here, you know, living single. But yeah, I bought the mini magic bullet because I didn't want to spend like $60 on a blender. So this was like 10 bucks. So yeah. Boom. Yes. I spend so much money on bottled waters and so much trash. Like I would be um, wondering like, why am I always throwing out so much trash? Because you have so many bottled waters in there. So to prevent that, I'm just going to use my water bottles, mini water bottles from so many like really good blessing jobs. So I'm gonna use those water bottles and have eight waters a day from this pure. Um, ashes got on the got on my white counter, so they're like stained. So now I'm just frantic figuring out. I put spot remover on it. I put like lights on it. It is 6:35. I'm getting a late start today, but I'm still going. So I went to bed at midnight. I don't know. I just couldn't sleep. Um, honestly, I didn't get a lot done last night. I just unpacked all those groceries and literally showered that took a while that was it I like that but yeah i'm super exhausted but i'm wide awake at the same time it's the craziest thing i think because the, the pre-workout i've only taken a few sips of it once that gets in my system it's going to be crazy
What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling, y'all? Today is Wednesday. It is 12.03. Your girl's on break. So what I'm trying to do is pop out really quick to the target. It's like five to seven minutes. But well, I scheduled a person to come put together my furniture. I'm trying to get him to put together all this stuff. The 12 cube, the writing desk, the end table, the shoe rack, the bathroom rack all that stuff together as well as a bookcase so the bookcase is on $35 from Target shout out to Target Target sponsored me if you're watching because I fuck with y'all and I bought everything in my home from Target because I think it's a perfect place to start when you're buying furniture once I become a millionaire I'll buy furniture from Restoration Hardware I'm about to hurry up and get in my car and go to Target because he gets here in an hour oh I got a good park in I just took I N D E P E N D E N T to the next level, guys. I just built, I just brought in this bookshelf. I'm pretty sure it's like. A cool, I don't know. That's a lot of that's a lot of weight on it. Y'all, I'm the incredible hook. That was crazy. While he's here, I have two meetings, so should be interesting to see how this goes. By the way, guys, when I say my town home is new, look what they're doing. These are all refrigerators and stoves. They put them in those, those are brand new. This was at Target for literally $30, guys. This is crazy. I think this is great <laughs> for all of my candle crap. All of this stuff is gonna go in here. And then the handy guy was nice enough to actually do the other stuff for an additional fee. So cool, okay, great. So I'll let you guys know when everything gets done. Talk about the best experience ever. Okay, so amazing guy. At first I was like, he came late. I was like, what's wrong? You don't want to be here. He did the bookshelf for $35. Okay, let's start there. That's very cheap. Big ass bookshelf for $35. Then he did all of this for $75. Here is the table. Here's how the table's going to look right there so it's a whole vibe right here so oh you want to put your drink right here perfect because you know i have this thing here instead of that thing there so we're all set ah oh, man i could have got him to mount my tv oh, damn okay i'll probably get someone to mount my tv one day and not melt it because not candle i'm gonna whack oh my god okay so the packing slip kind of fell out a little bit it's okay still love y'all as y'all can see Hive and Honey does the um, 
that's black owned. I knew it was. She does the 47 pounds for $100 instead of 45 pounds for $180. So we got wax. We are back in action. Guys, you know I ran out of wax after making 75 candles for the mall. Guys, I'm considering spray painting this white, but I don't know if it's really a priority. This table was $8. It was super cute, and I put it in the corner of my office, but now I hate the table. And I'm curious if I'm gonna keep it. I don't know, I think it'd be cute if I like put some marble paper over it and then we'll put and then spray the legs white. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue editing. I completely forgot the wax was in. The wax was in there for a long time. If this was August, I thought I made it. But yeah. I'm excited. To put the decorations out here, man. I'm never in my front because you know I have a garage. But look at it, how cute it is. All of this is mine. I didn't even realize that. It just occurred to me. They offer these simple yet classy candle tins at any candle lover's favorite sites or size. Damn. That was fun. So I just finished editing. I am so happy. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Guys, we have a lot of work to do this weekend. Be kind and stay humble. I just got I just got a notification. I made my stand goal. You know how we do. Oh, yeah, my pants are like tucked in. Don't do that. But yeah, look at this, guys. How cool. How freaking cool is this? Oh my gosh, I'm in love. So, I didn't realize that I ordered a 12 cube, <laughs> okay? I did not realize I did a 12 cube. So, I um only have six little cubes in. Only got six of them. Oh yay, we got makeup on one of them, so we're gonna have to work that out. But yeah, I got six of these cute little storage bins here. I can probably put you guys up higher so you can see me. So yeah, I just wanna push this back. So, here, okay. He, I mean, he came in here and just shut it down. Like, it was no questions asked. He really just like, with the drills, and he just started out. It was ridiculous, you guys. I'm highly impressed. Um, yeah. So, here is the here is the cubby thing. Oh, I guess it's just one in each. So I guess I just have four. <laughs> I have to buy more than. Every day by the morning, I can't call it. So I ain't got no time. Of course, I'm gonna put this work hard. <laughs> and then I have this cute C'est la vie. C'est la vie. Oh, I got decor. <laughs> Y'all don't know I'm good for the hood. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like, it was the hood. You know, you can't tell me that. No. Just love. <sighs> I love this. Yo, girl's getting her life together. I don't know where to put it. Where is the most, where do you feel the most productive? I feel like if I put it like this, let me show you. I'm going to put you guys down again. Move the desk like this. The middle of the room. If I film videos, this will be my background. Oh my god, I have a background. You guys are watching me live not become, you know, less of a basic bitch. Hey, watch this. I have one more thing I'm doing. Oh, oh, go off then. My mom got me that for my, um, oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it is a whole vibe. Comment down below what you guys think. I think it's a good starting point, you know? 
in terms of like me being so basic. <sighs> I'm in love. This is so exciting. So I just had to put together space saver and this shoe rack. I wanted him to put these together too, but he. I told him what three the big things to focus on, and he said 75 for these three. I wonder what he would have said if I said put these together, but I could put these together. I'm not a strip it. These are these are easy to put together. So I'll put these together like on Friday. This space saver thing is because I want to have towels on it. I'm trying to decide. I think I want it in here, actually. In this bathroom. Yeah. I'll put it right here. Super cool, guys. I already have my little corner set up. It's kind of junky right now. And then I have positive affirmations. If you want to say these, you can. Um, I am thankful for the blessings that I have received and the blessings that I have yet to receive. I am beautiful in every way. I allow myself to heal and grow. I have all the resources that I need to reach my goals. I have the power to change my life. I am my own source of happiness. I am strong enough to handle anything. I feel my confidence growing every day. I have control over my thoughts and emotions. Today, I will be at my best. Yes, ma'am. Yes, hunty. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so blessed. That's so cool, wow. And the rug. Yeah, this is perfect right there. That is perfect right there. Hey guys, oh my God, it's Thursday. Whew. What a week already. Like earlier today, I was really thrown off, you know, in terms of just everything I was feeling. Like I was feeling very busy, very much. My schedule was off. Um, I woke up to construction noises. They were drilling over here and then they just cemented over it like nothing happened. I don't know, they had to drill into this, the concrete, I guess. <laughs> Hold on. So they were drilling this morning, it was really elaborate. Um, and I'm so happy that's over. I don't think they'll have to do that again tomorrow. I think it was just a one day thing. And then my neighbor's dog stopped barking. This has just been a phenomenal day. I don't know what she did. She said she gives them medicine to make them sedated. But they have like, um, they're untrainable, she said. So maybe they have like mental problems. <laughs> I don't know guys, comment down below if your dog is, is like this, if you've ever seen a dog like that. I think my car needs an oil change. I haven't had one since February. What is it, September? I probably need an oil change, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to figure that out. Uh, I feel like if you have a townhome, you should have a mailbox in front of it, but no. It's, a, it's an apartment complex with townhomes, so there's an apartment mailbox over here. So, I don't even know what my mailbox number is. I have to look at my welcome letter, but um, I think I'm in the area where she showed me where the mailboxes are. I think. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. So the mailboxes are right by the gym. Interesting, cool. Okay, and I love how there's always this convenient as park. This is so convenient when you go to the gym. It's like boom, you could just park right here. Yay! So I do have mail. I have a lot of mail. Okay, and then a bunch of stuff from the postal service. Okay. Ooh. I don't know, for some reason today I've just been moving like slower and calmer and more like focused. Uh, maybe because I've been taking mild caffeine, like 35 milligrams of caffeine instead of 500 milligrams of caffeine. But yeah, for me to be, have moved here seven days ago, I have a lot of USPS mail. But here's what I got, super cute, very motivating for you boss bosses on boss vision i got stock market tips from a bad b i would say the word but i don't want to get yellow marked or any problems you don't curse on the youtube so this is a planner by masika kalisha okay so this planner is for you to actually organize your investing so 
if you didn't know you're supposed to have multiple streams of income and you're supposed to be investing your money so that your money is not um, you know dead you want your money to always be working so uh, that you're never broke so with that I found that um, she she started as a social media influencer and she did a love and hip-hop which is a reality show. They don't pay you a lot, but they give you a lot of like exposure to people. So you don't have any money, but you have enough money to start investing. So she started investing and now she is paid, paid, and she can use that money to build businesses and be paid, 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 paid. So with that, um, this book gives you insight into how she created her, um, just her everything and it gives you step by step and day by day what you do to invest and I did, I did not know how to invest I could have watched YouTube videos on it but I feel like learning from another african-american woman I think I'd be easier for me to interpret which is probably you guys sentiment as well in terms of stuff but yeah I'm glad I got that that was something I was checking to make sure I got so now we're just gonna go to Kirkland's to exchange this mat and then we're gonna go to home goods to return these uh, glasses that I don't really like and the comforter completely just return those two things and then we're gonna go to Target to purchase a comforter that I do love I love this area I'm in Durham I love how it's like 10 minutes from everything like I'm in more I live in Morrisville but I'm 10 minutes from Durham 10 minutes from Raleigh 10 minutes from Cary I'm just close to everything so I think I need a mask to go in here uh, yeah the goal is to exchange my thankful for hello fall I just want to exchange this for this one I have a story for you guys so I was um, trying to return the or do an even exchange for these two mats that are literally identical except different wording um, one says thankful one says hello fall and I wanted the one that said hello fall because I kind of liked the, the way it looked a little bit more and with that um the guy was like trying to charge me an extra three dollars and they, they he was like you got it on sale and the other one so it cost twelve dollars now and I was like is there any way that we could um do an even exchange because it's the same mat <laughs> and, he, and he was like no and I was like is there anyone we can ask he said we could ask but she's just gonna tell me the same thing you know people in customer service and stuff like that and I was like it wouldn't hurt to ask so we asked her and she said, I have to get my boss. This is $3, guys. Mind you, it's $3. So she's like, I have to get my boss approval. Her boss didn't answer, so she just did it. And I'm like, thank you. Like, it wouldn't, it does not hurt to ask. You literally do have to ask people things because um, if you don't, you will not get things that you want because people literally do not care. Your cart is too small. Look. Guys, we are here. Wait, this is like Renaissance somewhere. Try to look. Do you have any more? Five dollars close cash. So I have ten dollars in close cash now, and I want to get a comforter. 
so I'm just trying to find the comforter section in here. I think I'm close. I see pillows. Oh, if they have curtains, I also need curtains. This is so fun. are on a comforter. They don't need one. Pillows. I think I'm in the bedding section. Oh, there they are. I really want like gray with pleats. These are good. Uh, perfect. Good. I have, you guys saw I bought black uh, rugs for my bathroom. So then I bought some black towels for my bathroom. And then I have another bathroom that it's gonna be all gray. So I got some gray bath cloths. I already have big towels for that. Wipes. So I get these fragrance free cleansing wipes. I usually get the um, good wipes, but I didn't have those. So I got the Target brand. It's fragrance free, pH balance, which is what we want. Like, they're a dollar, so I got three of them. Really good stuff. Fine. Just, you know, keep everything white instead of, you know, moist instead of. Okay, too far. Anyways, these look good. So last one, so I got some bacon wrap scallops. <laughs> I got some. Boiled eggs because I like to just grab them after the gym instead of boiling them. I'm lazy. And I got some baking soda because, guys, I got wick, a wick stain. The black soot from the wick stained this marble, so I'm going to try to get it out with baking soda. Hopefully, it'll help. Then I got some Ling Cuisine mac and cheese, which is really good and high protein and low calories. And then I got some jasmine rice. I'm addicted to rice. Then I also got some file folders. Yes, I got the classic foil folders because the girl was using these bright red ghetto folders that I got on the dollar store. But I think these will look really good in my office, which I'll show you guys later uh, when I switch out my uh, current ones that I'm doing when I was getting all the furniture assembled. But I got a pegboard here, super cute, so that I could put all my candle supplies on that. And then I got this really cool wall organizer as well. So all of this will be downstairs on the wall. Really organized. It'll look very nice. And I'll try to put some cute decorations in there, guys. Our vision. Oh, crap. I dropped the hand soap. But our vision is coming alive for the candle studio. The time is now to get into this, all right? Mama. You got eyes on me. I call on you when needed. When the mic is and I see us. I'm tired of you, but I was working.
arriba se senta, arriba por mi mente quieta. Mi corazón está llena, con la cinta diferencia. Otra mi triple, esa punta fiel. need to use this bare tongue. Where does it say that? And this one come with it. Where does it say like to do that? It's not saying this. This is what's happening bare tongue. When you start to move the TV. Can you show me when you move it? Yeah, I can show you now. Like you want to move it to, to the kitchen like this. <laughs> yeah. Or you're sitting outside. Then what? The balcony. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Yes. So what's wrong? So like what? Now it's not gonna be showing, but bare time. How long? Yeah. Like I can know how many times you will keep moving the TV, but bare time. If you feel that when you look at the TV that it's doing like this or like this, you need to use this here and try to make it as much as you can inside these two lines. All right guys, I just wanna say, if you were ever wondering like, if you should invest in getting things and instead of try to finesse and get a better deal because you get what you pay for, then voila, you get what you pay for. So, this guy had much heavy attitude, he was being big on the attitude for me uh, in terms of this. And I just set it up, or I just turned on my Apple, or my Fire Stick, I have to set up my Wi-Fi. But yeah, with that, he was like, what people who are always doing something for me that's cheap say, like, your stuff is cheap. Like, cause when the guys broke my TV, they were like, it's a cheap TV. And I'm like, first of all, look, I don't care if it costs a dollar, and you broke it, and it's your fault, it is your fault, I don't care tired of this you know so <laughs> tired of this he didn't put it together all the way these pieces are for my tv and as you can see carefully go back here so we won't break it but um oh oh wow he um he didn't put them on there so how cool is it though that my tv can <laughs> it can turn each way like that, super cool how I can do this with this um, mounting thing. So I told Handy, here I go again, telling my honest experience, just like with my nails last week. If you haven't seen that vlog, go back and see what I said to the nail people. But um, <laughs> just like with that, I told them the truth and they said, we'll schedule somebody to come out and fix it. And I'm like, thank you. Completely forgot that I needed to do this. I'm gonna start scheduling pickups. Now that I live in a home, I can actually predict the fact that people will come. They won't have to walk up some stairs to get the packages. It'll just be straight on the same ground level. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. I could have been got this shipped out two weeks ago, but I had so much to do. But I couldn't. 
Okay. Over here. Let's get started. And I'm going to get her a notification that it shipped. Y'all need to know her thing. I'll check that back in with y'all when I'm done. Oh, she's in Ohio. Girl, it is shipped. Oh, you a million candles after this. Oh, you a million. <laughs> so sorry about that. But yeah. Receipt. Now let's see if we got anything from the P.O. Box. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we got one <laughs> we got one super excited we got one from Vanetta oh I don't know I think these are melts I'm so excited to renew those oh so exciting okay yay I was not expecting to get anything today because I haven't really been promoting it. And we got one. Oh, it smells so good. Already. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> and your handwriting? Bonetta, you have some really good handwriting, girl. I'm so excited to, to make that video. Wow, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> Ignore the band-aid, you girl has a scar here. But did you know that not spending money is like not welcoming money into your life? <laughs> so here's my candle studio right now, okay? And I hate it, which duh, you know, duh, like what? the heck why is this happening and stuff like this like i'm so cool this is the only thing i, I like <laughs> this is mini little baker's rack but this table is so wide and bulky and just not cute stuff like that uh, i gotta be brave super cute right there but I tried, you guys just saw me do a time lapse of me trying to make this work. And then in my head, I'm like, I should probably just draw it out. So guys, I drew it out. Let's start from the top. On the top is a bunch of green flowers right there, boom. Then I want my inventory on the top row of that shelving. Shipping supplies such as tape and packaging, fragrance oils, a whole bunch of fragrance oils, a whole bunch of fragrance oils. Boom, boom, boom. And then I wanted my wax at the bottom and my wig. So that's the shelf. Then I wanted to have a steel table here. Okay. And I want a pegboard right here with some important items in terms of my business, such as wig trimmers. In scissors and things of that nature right here and that sign you saw that said be brave <laughs> I put be kind because I forgot what it said but yeah then I want to have that other board thing that I got with um it has like shelving in it so I can put files in it in this one some additional like pins and stuff and then I want to have some uh I don't know I'll figure out what I want right there <laughs> but yeah Next is a dry erase board, a big old dry erase board right there on the wall. Then I want to have one of those rolling carts with shipping supplies, some crystals in here, and flowers because I make healing candles. And then on that only thing down there that I tolerate, I want to have inventory. So yeah, that's how I want that to go. I do not know what to do with this baker's rack. I'm sick of this baker's rack. It does not fit. 
I bought it in December. It is now September, so that's almost a year of having it. I want to get rid of this baker's rack. If you want a baker's rack, let me know. I'll give it to you for free because it has spray paint on it. So yeah, I'll give it to you. You can read, you know, you could like spray it down white and make it super cute. I live your best life. So with that, as you can see, all I need here is a dry erase board, a rolling cart, and a steel table. Online, a steel table is like $180. And I was thinking like, oh my God, that's too much. I don't want to spend that. But then I'm thinking like, what type of business are you trying to have? Like, are you trying to have a real business or are you taking this as a play play? Because what happens with me is like, I mean, I will take on a big old project, but then kind of shy away from it. So I don't really invest in it. And I think that investing in a steel table will remind me every day, like, bitch, you better get your ass down there and you better get your shit together. So yeah, that's my goal there. Yeah, it's how I feel when I look at it too. Like when I look at it, I just feel like a sense of like frustrated, like, oh, it still looks like this, you know? Super functional, but yeah. Everything that I need to come in will come in next week. So yeah, guys, the full Candle Studio tour will be up next week because I just need a steel table and to put everything up. So next week, you'll see me putting everything up in the studio. This week was pretty, pretty long, I know. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day your week your next hour just live in your purpose and love life stay tuned for next week it's going to get really crazy guys i'm going to be showing you all the things i do to you know revamp this space right here it's going to be beautiful and i'm so excited guys and i just want to thank y'all for being on this journey thank you for watching this video all the way until the end thank you so much for being inspired by me to keep going and keep pushing forward i just want to say invest in your business invest in everything that you need to move forward but before you invest understand the risk and understand the fact that you are betting on yourself always bet on yourself always make a promise to yourself that you are not going to let yourself down it doesn't matter what it is no matter what you're doing in your business if you do feel like you are aren't perfect at it math study it you know keep looking at videos keep reading on it keep researching the more you know the more power you have i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out anything else that i post all right guys bye